Brian here with HelpSellMyRV.com out of Louisville, Kentucky, where all RVs are for sale by owner. I'm going to do a walk around on this beautiful 2017 Coleman Lantern 244BH bunkhouse travel trailer with the slide out. Overall condition is excellent. Go ahead and start the video by showing you the inside floor plan and then finish up the video by showing you the features and condition on the outside. Overall length, exterior length of this trailer is 27 feet 7 inches. Overall height to the air conditioner is 11 feet 4 inches. And the dry weight on this camper is 5,362 pounds. Give you an idea of the floor plan before I get started. Okay, this trailer is perfect for a half ton truck. Does have the slide out, it's about an eight foot slide out. Eight foot long and it's about three foot deep and it accommodates the U-shaped booth dinette. The booth breaks down into a bed. Definitely sleep two grown adults easily. Nice closet here off to the side for storage. Do have LED lights all throughout this camper, saves you on your battery. This is your entertainment area, entertainment center area. That's where your TV would go if you opted for one. And your stereo here is the DVD, uh, Bluetooth capable, MP3 ready. And of course it's a stereo AM FM. In the kitchen here, nice large countertop here with a deep double bowl sink, high arched residential style faucet. And on the appliances, you do have the stainless steel finish on the oven, and it looks like it's never been used. If I remember right, the owner said he used it only a couple of times. And you do have the stainless steel finish on the microwave. This coach is excellent condition, definitely showroom condition. I think any dealer would agree with me. I think this is going to be a six cubic foot nor cold refrigerator. It's automatic. Runs on gas and electric. your little nor cold beds right there this is the bunkhouse floor plan definitely sleep two grown adults there and you can sleep it's a it's a double bed and uh, it's only rated though at well I say only uh, 300 pounds so some of your bunks will only be rated at 250 so it's pretty competitive as far as their weight rating on the bunks Okay, rear bathroom here, foot flush toilet, you do have a medicine cabinet here, nice storage for towels, toiletries, there's your tub shower combo. This coach is uh, AC ducted all the way through, even in the bathroom. And you also have heat ducted into the bathroom also. Your AC unit on this coach is going to be 13,500 BTU ducted AC unit. And it does, I believe, have the quick dump feature. So if you want to cool it off real quick, a couple minutes later, uh, it dumps out here. And a couple minutes later, you can shut the louvers off and all your AC will be ducted all the way through. Looks a little dirty here. Looks a little dirty. Let the owners know about that. All your high traffic areas are going to be the residential grade, stain resistant linoleum. Zoom in on that plank flooring look. I'm not sure what they're calling the cabinets, maybe a dark maple. 
go into the master bedroom here it's a double entry with the curtain for privacy here full walk around queen bed this bed does lift up you have a little bit of storage up underneath closets on each side you also have 110 outlets on each side of the bed And as I mentioned in the bathroom, uh, your heat is all ducted uh, all throughout this camper and the furnace on this coach is going to be, I believe, a 25,000 BTU furnace. All right, before we go outside here, let's uh, show off that central command area here. You can uh, check your monitors here. I'll give you an example for your battery, fully charged. Black tank is your toilet tank. And your gray tank is, it says gray tank one and two, so uh, one usually is for your galley and the other one probably for your bathroom. Shower and interior, exterior lights. Go ahead and shut those off. We're going to leave that one on for the exterior light. Uh, water pump, that's easy to figure out. And uh, you do have a six gallon gas electric direct spark ignition water heater. Flip switch on and uh, whether you're boondocking or you're hooked up. To 110 or 30 amp uh, you'll have hot water within 10-15 uh, minutes there's your slide up button right there and there's your button for your awning putting it in and out kind of back up here give you an idea of the color scheme on the outside this is the corrugated aluminum skin I did check the camper for dents on the outside I'll show you a little trick uh, when I get closer to the skin but that does have the uh, power awning. I believe that's going to be probably maybe a 12 foot, uh, maybe 15 foot power awning. It does have the LED lights. All the LEDs are working just fine. It does have the exterior speakers. So you do have the exterior entertainment package on this camper. This is called the Lantern Edition. Nice right, so 110 outlet here for plugging in bug zappers and lights and stuff like that. Uh, you are solar prepped. So if you want to hook up a solar uh, panel to this ca the camper, you can, you have that option. Uh, freshwater holding tank, I believe it's going to be a 60 gallon freshwater holding tank. There's your service panel for your 6 gallon gas electric direct spark ignition water heater. There's your uh, service panel for your furnace, 25,000 BTU furnace I believe on this coach. You do have Easy Lube Dexter axles. So you can do most of the maintenance on your own. And all uh, tires, everything on this coach is is uh, perfect. You do have the 3.3 cubic foot refrigerator, little dorm fridge, basically, for the outside kitchen area. And nice sink. You do have running water, hot and cold running water. Uh, and disconnect that. Lay that there. Push that in. There we go. Oh, and this tray is on a full length metal ball bearing drawer guides. You do also have uh, 110 outlets out here. Go ahead and close this off, show you what it looks like. And it's all buttoned up. does have the fold out arm here for the grill if you wanted to have a grill just pull the cotter pin out and this comes out like so you do have the heavy duty stabilizer jacks those uh, electric uh, stabilizer jacks they they're putting on these campers are kind of flimsy in my opinion these uh, heavy duty ones are the way to go just take a cordless drill and a chuck and pretty much operates just like a power stabilizer jacks you are prepped up for a uh, backup camera if you want that option. Looks like the owners did not opt for the backup camera, but you are prepped for it. Kind of shoot down the side here. Look for any dents. I checked this whole camper pretty good and I didn't find any dents, dings, or scratches. All the decals are excellent showroom condition. 
Here's your cable hookups here, uh, city uh, water fill right here, or hookups, sorry, 30 amp service. This is your 30 amp cord. You can break down to 110 if you want. You do have that option. Kind of show off down the side here. On these aluminum corrugated trailers, I do shoot down the side when the sun's hitting it just right. See if there's any dinks, any dents, especially on the front, from usually caused by like road debris going down the road. Beautiful camper, definitely. I think any dealer if they were gonna take this in on trade, it would be a showroom piece. So you have the metal diamond plate on the front here. That may have been an option. Uh, protects from rock debris when you're driving down the road. Show off that front in there so there's no dents or dinks. Show off this huge pass-through storage on a 27-footer. It's all up underneath the queen bed. Nice LP tank cover. Cover up your two dual, uh, I believe they're 20 pound LP tanks. There's a little rust right here, a little surface rust. Get with the owner on that. Maybe hit it up with a little primer. Beautiful camper. I'll show down the side here. Since I'm showing down the sides, in the front and back, and the rear. So show you that there is no issues at all uh, definitely if you want to come out and see the camper I don't think you'll be disappointed whatsoever uh, if you want to come and see the camper just call the number on the edge you deal directly with the owner if you like this video I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up on YouTube and uh, if you want to keep up to date on RVs common for sale in the Louisville Kentucky area you can always follow help sell my RV on Facebook Twitter Pinterest and YouTube thank you